<laughs> Welcome to another Monday Music Minute. I'm your host, Eric Gill, with the County's Communications Division. I'm Mark Freed with the St. Lucie County Library System. Each week we come on the show and we tell you our favorite musical finds on Freega, which is a free service that allows you to stream and download music. All you need is a St. Lucie County Library card, which you can pick up at any of our six branch libraries. Now, when you think of bluegrass, Saskatchewan, Canada isn't the first location that comes to mind. Really? Yeah, at least with me. But this week's pick hails from the Great White North. The Dead South is a blistering folk bluegrass band that recently released two excellent cover EPs, Easy Listening for Jerks Part 1 and 2. I felt like the album title called to me for some Spoke reason. Yeah, exactly. This project was described as the Carter Family Meets the Adams Family. These ragged covers range from Americana classics like You Are My Sunshine and Keep on the Sunny Side to blazing banjo riffs by System of a Down, Chop Suey, and Ween's Help Me Scrape the Mucus Off My Brain. They were once dubbed Mumford & Sons' Evil Twins, so if you like that style of music, check out their 2021 live album, Serve Live. I really love the intro to the song, Fat Little Killer Boy. It starts with, you're going to need a lot of whiskey for this one. Mark, what do you got? Uh, what happens when your mother's a jazz singer and your father owns a massive record collection? You become Beck? No. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're Mimi Fox and not Beck, but if you're Mimi Fox, you become an internationally renowned jazz guitarist, composer, and recording artist. The story goes that Miss Fox became interested in guitar around the age of 10 and began teaching herself how to play by listening to the Beatles' Rubber Soul album. In the late 70s, she moved to California to hone her craft. She emerged as a masterful player whose interpretations of jazz are flavored with blues, swing, Latin, and bebop swirls. Her peers have called her, an, her they've called her improv work simply inspirational. Uh, Mimi Fox has released eight albums to date. Freegal has six of them. Uh, she's performed with the who's who of gifted, gifted musicians, including Charlie Bird, Stanley Jordan, Charlie Hunter, and Branford Massales, also Stevie Wonder, just to name a few. In addition to winning six Downbeat Magazine International Critic Polls, she's also taught music at the Berkeley School, uh, Berkeley College of Music, Yale, New York University, and the California Jazz Conservatory. As I mentioned before, Freegal has six of her recordings, and they're all worth listening to. That does it for this week's Monday Music Minute. See you next Monday.